who keeps messing up the room? Every time. Hey, what's up, Fast Talking Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today's dope sleeves from Japan are going to be known these Oleana sleeves right here. Yes, you're looking at Oleana, one of the best full art trainers and one of the best actual characters in Sword and Shield, in my personal opinion. Not very hard to tell why. Rebellion Crash is the collection set this actually came from. Beautiful set. I don't think Rebel Clash is Rebel Trash. A lot of people do. I think there was a lot of good cards in that time. I was actually playing the Pokemon TCG at the time as well. A lot of good playable cards came out of that. Eh. Different strokes for different folks. Hey, I do not bring good news today. Unfortunately, it's been like, what, like two days since I talked about somebody who felt the need to just go into places, grab stuff, and then run out without paying for it. It's it's an epidemic. It's something that just keeps floating around. I don't really know what to say. It, it's like the, the, the second time this week where someone just walked into someplace and like, okay, time to use the security expert plasmid and just make sure the security crammers aren't going to see me or something like that. I'm just in a modern store and no one's watching anything that I'm doing. I, I don't know. Maybe some people don't care. Maybe the money's just that good. Maybe people are actually offloading this stuff for quadruple, quintuple the price they actually, I don't know. All I know is there is a lot of people going into stores and taking stuff. We're in LA Sports Cards today. This is in the uh, Glendale, California area, so I'm sure some people are familiar with this store. Once again, putting this out there to help them out. If you can identify said person, any information, of course, because, I mean, thievery for Pokemon cards, sports cards, any kind of cardboard paraphernalia, this is bullshit. Gotta stop. We gotta stop letting people get away with this stuff. And hey, I'm willing to put the stuff on the line for you guys. So let's check out what we got going on today. Strap in, grab some popcorn, grab some celery, grab a nice little OJ or your favorite drink. Let's fucking get it, baby. lot to unpack right here so first of all i guess stores are just getting better with their camera quality this is the second store once again in a week where they actually don't have the 144 court cam stuff where like hey there's bigfoot right there you can't really tell that it's bigfoot but there there you go there it is like old, old glazy old style camera stuff like that actually pretty good quality so it looks like they might actually have a stand a good solid lead on identifying people it's good I'd like to see that hate to see them getting robbed but at least they got the security system for that look at this guy right there he's taking all these different angles of a, i'm assuming it's like a card or a product but he's getting that stuff like he's gonna put it up on instagram gonna actually document that girl dinner he's got going on i don't know just uh crazy to see i've never actually seen someone in a card store just i've seen him take pictures i've seen people be like hey do you need this card to like some uh, i don't know it's a little a little crazy right there hey let me get off let me get five different angles of this card for you Ugh, weird <laughs> So he keeps getting his adequate angles. He picks it up. I don't know if he actually owns said card or slab that he was actually documenting. I've always wondered that too, going to like sports cards, Pokemon card convention, anything like that. You see a lot of people like put a product up and they'll just start filming it or something like that. It's usually a crazy high grade slab or something. And then people will be like, whoa, check out this card. Do you, what do you guys think of this? I'm wondering if they actually own said product. They're just borrowing it from said vendor because half the time people will throw it up on Instagram. They won't mention a thing about anybody else and they'll definitely just be like yeah check out the sweet card what would you do for a klondike card or something like that it's just i always wonder how people if they own that they know the store it's it's a weird thing but yeah homeboy's getting awfully comfortable up there And there he goes, man. Just uh, the, the slickest hands you've ever done seen. He tried to grab what appeared to be like two boxes or two products, which is what it looked like. He dropped one on the way out, and then he grabbed said slab. I don't think he actually owns said slab. I guess he might have. That might have been how he actually was able to film some stuff. But he grabbed that stuff, and he ran out old style. I don't know what that run he was doing either, doing the old hob step outside of there, just the woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. I got some stuff doing the old Grinch tippy toes walking out there. Bless that store owner. He's going after it. He's getting his best. Let's see if he actually catches him. Thank you. 
Nope, there goes the hop stepper just running out as fast as he can. Man, he is doing that Charlie Bucket run. He's got the golden ticket right there. He's not going to stop for any greasy person that wants everlasting gobstoppers. No bikes for that. He is doing the Forrest Gump run out that bitch. And unfortunately, that store owner, God bless his soul. You tried, soldier. Return to base, though. That's You can't keep up with that guy. The steps are too good. He does, however, have pretty good pictures of said guy. My favorite little piece right here, though, is that old guy that kind of just looks over and watches the whole thing transpire. I was like, fuck this. I, can, I got other stuff going on. Got VA appointments to go get at. They're going to tell me that I'm only eligible for 35% or something. <laughs> Real shame, though. They got some good pictures of him, though. They got a good little snap of him right there. It's, uh, I mean, that's pretty good for identification. Man, what a bad day to be a Lakers fan. <laughs> Am I right? Look at that. Act. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's something else. And then they also got a couple different things, too. I'm imagining that's his truck right there. Several different angles for homeboy. Right there. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand why people are just so adamant about taking cards. And apparently a market decline, too, at that, which some people are going to say it's up. Some people are going to say it's down, depending on what you're getting. Now you should invest in this. You should invest in either way. Talking investments, talking cards, talking, you should be buying it with your own money. And you shouldn't be going in there and stomping on, like, businesses or anything like that just for having it. That's... That's what's crazy about that stuff, too. I'm not condoning stealing from anywhere because it's fucking bullshit anywhere. But I don't know why you'd, like, go into a small business. Even the businesses I completely disagree with. I would never want to see them, get, get, like, just get robbed in that capacity. I cannot imagine just where people feel like that's a good thing to do for certain people. I, it's... Pfft. No souls, no heart, no nothing. And it's probably by people that are either going to offload this stuff. Like I said, they must be making a killing off what they're flipping said product for. I don't know what the sports car community is like right now. I don't know if there's some crazy boxes out with that stuff. Maybe there's like a stupid good product or something people are getting. There's definitely nothing modern like that in Pokemon. Maybe if Homeboy grabbed a Evolving Skies booster box and ran out that. I guess I could see someone doing that, but whew, I don't know. wonder how much stuff he stole, too. It's all I got. Man, whole thieves stuff happening. And appreciate it. Hope you guys had a good weekend. The weekends are over way too fast. Oh. Have a good one, virgins. Fuck card thieves.